Good evening, everyone. Right now it's 3.30. For today's announcements, today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Go meet our guest in person and find out more about them. With that, I'll let you get back to work. Oh god, it's weird to wake up on this side of the island. Rock and KK, and then a note from Tammy for the post office. And post office? There's no post office. There's just the whatever. God, it's so weird to have my house on a different part of the island. I need to get rid of this path like immediately because I hate it. I should have done it one to the left. I should have moved it one over this way. It would look better. It looks off-center this way, but I think I'd rather have it off-center this way. Ah! I, I was never going to be happy with it no matter what. Alright, let's go do some morning routine shit. Oh, hey, Yuka. What a surprise to see you, my dear. Oh, and speaking of surprises, I have a reaction. You know how long... The amazed reaction. I cannot see your face, Yuka. I got him. Okay, that's what it looks like. So yeah, it's just back to another standard day. Except for we are going to be doing a lot of talking about the PS5. I'm not going to cover everything, but we've got a lot to talk about. Because I did just spend the past hour and like 20 minutes reacting to it, which should be archived at some point. But now we're here playing Animal Crossing. So I can basically chop down all three of these trees. Yep, here we are with Animal Crossing. But yeah, um, so PS4, I actually think the reveal went pretty well. I, I liked it. I, th I thought there were some cool games. Um, I, I've already been looking at debate on Twitter about the console itself. The debate seems to be mostly negative. I've seen people call it like a humidifier or a Wi-Fi modem. Yeah, they're not wrong. They're not wrong by any means, but I, I personally like it. I like the one without the uh, disk drive better. But yeah, we finally got the PS4 or PS5. That's gonna take a while for me to get used to saying. Kind of like when um we you switch over to a uh, like a new year, and you you keep writing the previous year's date on papers. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Hey, look, they have my same outfit in the store. Yeah, I, I overall, I was mostly happy with the show. There was a lot of things that we got that I am interested in. Not everything, mind you, and there were some things where I was just kind of like, eh, that dragged on for a little longer. Eh, this probably wasn't... It's not that it wasn't a bad thing to show. There was a lot of diversity. But it was just, right? Like, I did not need them doing Gran Turismo. It's a race car game. I know how race car games work. And it looked like every other race car game I've ever seen. I just didn't need it. But yeah, I was 
I'm mostly satisfied with it. I, I all my predictions from a few weeks ago, most of them anyways. I mean, I got the, I was expecting to see the new Call of Duty. That didn't happen. But most of my other predictions I did get right. I, I expected Horizon. We got Horizon. We didn't get a, it isn't confirmed to be a launch title, or at least I don't think they did. But I'd kind of be surprised if it isn't. Because it just seems like the kind of game that is a launch title. Finally, the controller low battery thing came up. Oh, uh, shit. I don't have any... Um, I need to go find the money tree. Because I have no money on me. Oh, money tree... I think, I think I know where it is. Oh, God. My house is now completely empty. That's weird. I'm actually probably going to put my muse the museum where my house used to be. Probably. Don't know what I'm going to do with those bushes. I can just move them. So if I am correct, the money tree should be over by the flower field. Up here somewhere. I'm going to hit up every tree along the way, obviously, but, you yeah. know. Oh, and there's a fossil right there. That's the first time a fossil has ever appeared in the flower garden. I was expecting that to happen more often, but it never has. Oh, and look, there's a second one. Huh. I would not be surprised if that's this if it was in the flower garden yesterday and I just didn't notice it. And I just picked a bunch of flowers I don't need. No, it's not this one, huh? I was expecting it to be that one cuz that one should have been the one that was fully grown. Huh, I wonder where my money tree is. Oh gosh, I cleared out a bunch of trees here yesterday. Where else could it be? Um, I guess maybe in the forest? I mean, I could also try to go for the money rock. Hey, Leaf's here. Um... I don't think it'd be over there. I know I've hit up the money tree every day. That's why I'm so amazed there wasn't a new one. Yeah, I guess, I guess there just wasn't a new one today. I know I hit up the money tree every day. So I don't know how I missed one today. Gosh dang it, drifting controller. Eh, whatever. My pockets are full. Put away. Oh, I'm pretty sure I already have that. Okay, I gotta go find that money rock. Guessing who forgot about the PS5 thing. Oh, you forgot about it? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I think there's a little bit of everything for anybody in there. Have you at least seen what the system looks like? Because I am curious about your thoughts on that. Because that's, that's of course, one of the big things. So it wasn't that one. I'm still missing a fossil somewhere. I 
Hey, Octavian. Well, hey there, if it isn't my good pal. Always good to see a friendly face. Hope life's treating you alright. Oh, there it is! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot about the one over in front of the turnip field. Because, yeah, I, I was like, there's no way it'd be over here. Wait. I just had a stack and... Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. I'm an idiot. I'm an utter idiot. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I was I was satisfied with the PS4 thing. I thought I mean it gave me what I it gave me more than what I wanted because I was not expecting anything new from Spider-Man. I really wasn't. So to see that that was cool. I really don't need those roses. I picked them up on accident. I mean, I don't know what to expect from Spider-Man, whether it's going to be a new game or just like a 1.5 expansion. But either way, I'm totally down. The Horizon Zero Dawn to Horizon Westward Bound, I think it was called, looked great. There, the two Ubisoft. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to feel about that. Um, Ghostwire Tokyo, especially with uh, what's her name having left the project. At least I'm pretty sure she left the project. But, um, the other game, the other, um, the other Bethesda game, Deathloop, I still, I still think looks pretty, pretty decent. Swap it, did they announce the cost? They did not announce the cost of the thing. I'm assuming they're saving that for, um, Microsoft. Because I, I think they even said in the past that they weren't, um... That they were waiting for Microsoft to announce their price. Because they don't want to be undercut by Microsoft. Makes sense, but... I need a shovel. But yeah, it... I don't know. I'm Either way, even it... It's probably going to be 500. Uh, if I had to make an educated guess, I'd say they're going to do it at 500. There are two versions, a disc, a, a one with a disc drive and one without a disc drive. But I'm expecting them to cost around the same because whatever the disc drive, the disc drive one, while it doesn't have a disc drive, it probably has like two terabytes of storage. Whereas the one with a disc drive has one terabyte. Not like it probably really matters because either way, um... Most games are so decompressed nowadays that a single game can take up, like, 200 gigabytes. I'm looking at you freaking Call of Duty Modern uh, Modern Warfare. God, what a piece of shit. Just game, remember, games used to have compression software. I mean, Nintendo still has amazing compression software. But nobody else does. Nobody else has compression software anymore. Maybe it's because of the nature of updating games... Who knows? I mean, if they could somehow make the discless one cheaper, I know that appealed to more people. I'm also surprised they didn't do a, a different color ones. Like, they didn't have one that was black and one that was white. I'm surprised they're both black-white. I don't know. I think the console looks good. I know not everyone's going to agree with that. I know some people d probably don't like... um. Don't like. I mean, again, I said it was described as like a humidifier, which is pretty funny, or like a Wi-Fi modem, which I don't think the console is going to be able to stand on its side. I know some people like a console like laying on its side, and I'm I'm usually that person, but admittedly, I haven't really done that recently. Like my Wii stands straight. Like when I had the Wii hooked up, that stand I have that stood straight up. The Wii U, I have stood straight up. No, sometimes. It's normally just to conserve space, because I can put, like, three consoles standing straight up next to each other in the space that one console uh, laying down would take. And yeah, both consoles this generation seem to be going for the standing up right route. Which I don't blame them. I actually don't think that's a bad idea. I mean, at least... 
because it's not a box. Like, because that was this generation. Both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox and the X-Bone were both just boxes. And that's kind of how consoles have worked for this past generation. Maybe they've had a little bit of, like, like roundness to them, like a little bit of curve. But they're basically just boxes. That was the PS4 and the 360. They had some curve to them, but they were basically boxes. And the, the X... The, um... The Xbox, the new one, the Series X, is just a box. But this new one, is, but the PS5 isn't a box. It's got some curve to it. And that's the same thing with the controller. It's got, it's a little bit chonkier, which, hey, it's different. This was exactly what I was expecting this song to sound like. Okay, I gotta go find that money rock. I also have a bunch of notifications from the conference. So, I guess Ghostwire Tokyo and Deathloop, which are the two Bethesda games, are going to be uh, timed exclusives on the PS5. I mean, they'll come to PC eventually, but they're timed exclusives for the PS5. Okay. I know some people really hate that. And I don't entirely blame them, but I also get where that practice comes from. Um... Yeah. Gosh dang it. I'm gonna hit this rock. Okay, what else? There were tons. Of, I've seen tons of people make fun of it. New Ratchet and Clank looks cool. I'm um I've never really played Ratchet and Clank, but yeah. I was gonna say, come in here real quick. Yeah. Um. Gretchen Clank looks cool. There, there was that one game with the, the Destiny guy and the satellite crashing. And they're on the moon. And there's that robot girl who I'm pretty sure is a robot girl. Uh, like Big O style. I have no idea what the fuck was going on in that trailer. Um, God, there were so many. There were so many trailers. Like I said, there's a little bit of something for everyone, which is usually how I describe like indie directs. But I'm, I'm, I'm happy, man. I'm happy with the games, which doesn't always happen. Like I look at that freaking uh, Microsoft thing from a few days ago. I did not give a shit about 95% of those games. So for me to walk away, even just Horizon Zero Dawn and alone would have made me happy. But the fact that we're getting... God, I love Spy... I love Spy... When I do my Game of the Year list at the end of the year... Because my one rule for Game of the Year is always just kind of like, I do whatever I want. Alright? As long as I... My two rules for Game of the Year have always been... As long as I had to have played it in the current year... And I have to... It can't be on a previous list. And Spider-Man technically qualifies both of those... So Spider-Man's going to be on my Game of the Year list this year. That'll be fun. Ah, but I need to get around to playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I really do. But I'm just... I'm, I'm so busy with Pokemon. <laughs> oh god, I'm so busy with Pokemon. I... I basically have everything now. The only thing I'm missing is Snow Runt and Glalie. Which are, I mean, not, I still have to evolve a bunch of shit, but like ca to capture, I'm just missing Snow Runt and Galalee, who I can only get after, uh, dur when the, during low tide. And when I played last night, it was high tide. This dress looks like a Whataburger dress, and that's the only reason I'm buying it. 
<laughs> Ooh, I could use some... Sure. I'm buying the Whataburger dress. I'm I'm just reading I'm just reading like every second I get a new tweet about something that was announced. So it looks like Demon Souls is gonna have a um, it's gonna have two different mo graphic modes, one for fidelity and one for frame rate. Sure. I don't know. Demon Souls is an interesting one because I know people will always make fun of like critics who like oh critics are bad at the video games that they review, right? Or critics are dumb or whatever. But yet. Critics were ahead of the whole Dark Souls thing. Critics loved Demon Souls. It didn't. I don't think it did well financially, but critics knew that that game was going that 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 what Demon Souls had was going to be great. And then when it eventually became Dark Souls, it did. I know Demon Souls also has some bullshit in it, but hey, it was basically the first of its genre, kind of. So, it's genre that's been influenced by. Other genres like Metroidvania and whatnot. <laughs> God, I'm just looking at stupid memes on Twitter and whatnot. Yeah, I, I don't know. But yeah, I like I like standing console, man. That's kind of cool. I, I I don't see how you could place it on its side at all. So I just don't think that'll be an option. But I'm kind of down for that. Not every. I mean, make a console look, make the box, I mean, I know some people are, oh, it's a Wi-Fi router, but, eh, who cares? Who cares? I don't need a, I understand for some people it's more compact to have a console laying down. Like, I know that's totally correct. For me, it isn't. For me, I, I like the console standing up because it saves more room. But I know that's not true for everyone. Let's see. PS5 is hideous, and that's why I love it. Oh god, that's Ego Raptor saying. I don't know, I just I kinda like the curve. It's different. Um Yeah. And then EA's event is next week, which I will not be doing anything for. I've done stuff for EA's events in the past, but I mean, a few years ago, I said I'd never buy another EA game ever again, even though I heard they made a pretty decent Star Wars game, and I still technically haven't. And hey, even people memeing on the PS5's design, I mean, that's still, that's still marketing at the end of the day. That's how, like, I remember when they did the Xbox conference, the guy had an Xbox as a fridge because people made fun of it for being a fridge. They played into the meme, that's marketing. It's next level marketing, or aka modern day marketing, where you don't market some, I mean, you do, but you get the people to market for you. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. That's what it's called. I, I hope I hope it's a full I mean I under I I totally get the setting being the same. But I really hope it's a new game. I want Mysterio to be the villain. I mean, we know he exists in Spider-Man PS4 as I mean you never see him and they never do right, but they mention there's a halt you go to like a Halloween party at some point. And Mysterio and, like, people dress up as uh, Spider-Man villains, like the Vulture and whatnot. Like, in their classic comic book style, and Mysterio's amongst them, so he, we know he exists in the world. But, I guess, spoiler alert for Spider-Man PS4. I could see them doing a thing where they, um... Where they, have, they, they make Mysterio the villain, and have him... 
replay Miles the death of Miles Morales' dad. I could totally see that being a thing. Will it? I don't know. But I could totally see it happening. I want it to happen. Because Mysterio... God. Like, just... It, and it's just because of Arkham City. It's not because of the new... The Spider-Man... Uh, the... Far From Home. It's because of the movie and how cool... Or it's because of Arkham Asylum and how cool the Scarecrow scene is. The ca Scarecrow stuff in that game is. Never did play um, Arkham... N was it Night? Where they brought back... Um, um, Scarecrow. Because he basically dies in Arkham Asylum. I mean, I think Killer Croc eats him. Or something like that. I don't know. Never did play Arkham Knight. Never finished Arkham Asylum either. There we go. What else? What else do I got? I don't know. It was, but it was basically a standard E3 press conference. Like, honestly, like this could have been at literally any E3, and I would have believed you. Like, cause that's just kind of the style that they did. It's basically like one of Nintendo's previous conferences. Definitely better than some of their state of plays. Sony has had some bad state of plays mostly just boring at least this one knew how to like build hype you start off okay well you normally you start off with something big and end with something big and they technically didn't do that because they just announced gta 5 again it's only been 10 years i'm i'm i, I just want them to move on to g i mean i don't I've admittedly, I played the story. I don't even remember if I beat the story in GTA 5. I know I did play, I know I did GTA 4 though. Or I mean, I know I did whatever. Uh, but yeah, no, I never, I, they started off with GTA 5 and it's like an enhanced port. XD Toto? Is that how, how you doing? But yeah, they started off with GTA 5, and basically if you own GTA 5 on PS4, you get a bunch of, like, in-game money or whatever now. They're giving, like, a million dollars away or something. But it's like, that's not how you start the conference. That's maybe something you put in, like, the middle of the conference. But yeah, I... I mean, GTA 5 is almost 10 years old. It maybe came out in, like, 2011. No, no, I... No, it's pr it probably didn't it come out. Did it come out in like 2013? For some reason, I always think it came out in like 2009, which I think that's how old Skyrim did. Do you like Bunny? Um, if if it's the character I'm thinking of, it's pretty cool. They're fine. Hmm. But yeah, oh, there's the fossil. There's something's buried there. But yeah, do you want her for trade? I, d I don't have any room open. My all 10 slots are filled up in my village. But yeah, it was, it's so weird to start with GTA 5 and then go immediately to Spider-Man, which they should have just start. They should have either kept put GTA 5 somewhere in the middle or just not done it at all and done it like in a press release afterwards or something or like Rockstar should have just set it for their own thing. I don't know. Get one more. I do I do I have a camp Oh yeah, shit, I do have a campsite villager. I completely forgot about that. So I guess one of the flowers from the flower garden must have been one of the villagers from yes or one of, must, must have been one of the fossils I missed yesterday. Huh. I had to start keeping an eye out for that. I just seen it. Oh, who the heck are you? Carmen. 
Hi, I'm Carmen, and I'm totes camping on your awesome island. It's kind of random that I came to Pyre, but I'm in my way glad this place is the bomb. I'm so jelly, everyone who lives here full time, let's hang out for a while. I like, I'll take, I'll take Carmen over like half the villagers I have on my island. Camping alone is so laid back, I can do whatever, whenever, you know? The air here is, meshes real well with me, for real, this is great air. The scenery and vibe in general are over fabosity on this island to speak of. I could stay on Pyre forever. Why not stay? <laughs> exactly, Trent. <laughs> oh my god. But I have to pass. My house is finally clean. I know that sounds like totsy weird experience, but I've been living there for two years. And I just can't even deal with it organizing a house all over again. So she come so she talks about wanting to be here. Ask me if I tell her, oh, hey, wouldn't you like to stay? And then she just tells me no. I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep talking to her. I'm gonna take tons of selfies, make a scrapbook of them. Blur camping here is so fun, I don't want to go home, but like they say home is where your stuff is. Too bad my stuff isn't here. You could move here. Hmm. This is super tempting offer. You know what? I said no before, but this time I'm going to say yes. I will so totes move here. I mean, my fans need me. Now I just got to show my fab face over at Resident Services and make sure they give a plan. Play a couple card games if she offers. I was totally... I was expecting her to play a, car, a couple card games. It's the worst news. Totes legit. The worst news. I talked to Resident Services, and they said even if I move here, there's no room for me to build my house. I need my house. I do dance practice in my house and other stuff like watch TV. Did say if there's someone who's thinking of moving away, I could have their spot. Uh, I do? Yeah, of course you do. I don't... <laughs> so, theoretically, I could f get Octavian to move out... Then use the amiibo card to just bring him back. That work? Cause I don't want to. I don't want it to be Octavian, and I don't know if I say no if she'll let me. Ju if she'll just pick somebody else instead, or would it just be easier to say yes and then bring Octavian back through the amiibo card? <laughs> oh my god. Use the... I'm... Sure, I'm, I'm just gonna use the amiibo. Totally. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, I, mi I I was reading past that line real quick, and she said, wish me good luck, and I thought it real quickly said, uh, fuck off real quick. <laughs> like you told me, and he agreed. And then he said, the island totes needs a famous musician, but he's too busy to do it himself. He's moving away, and I'll be moving here super, super soon. If I use the amiibo card, I can boot the monkey. Well, I have a sense for these things, and my senses are saying this. It's going to be a sensation. So we got Carmen on our island. And we'll probably boot somebody else we don't like. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that monkey to move out of spite. But we might be able to get rid of, what, like Kid Cat or somebody else? I mean, if he says monkey, I'll take monkey, but, yeah, We'll see, but I'll take Carmen. Carmen's better than, again, half the guys I have already. All right, let's go sell those fruit we got, because I got a bunch of fruit. I should, I should just boot. I've been waiting months now. I should just use the amiibo card to boot the monkey. Screw pride. Screw integrity, you know. What's that gotten me so far? I want to sell. And I've got a shit ton of fruit to sell. Mm. 
Oh gosh, I'm almost drinking that. I had a lim I had a lemonade. Like it was like it's like a jug of lemonade that I was drinking while watching the PlayStation thing. I've almost drank that entire I I'm almost done with that jug over like the span of like an hour. Oh. It's good stuff. Hey Nan, how you doing? Hi Muffin, kid. I was struggling to come up with a last minute dinner plan. Yeah. yeah. Now, now let's. So the P, the PlayStation Five event was good. Now let's just hope the Microsoft event next month lives up to those expectations. Because last time, last month when they did their thing, in my opinion, they dropped the ball. I mean, it was okay, but they say gameplay, and there really there was some, but there really wasn't much. Let's hope next time they do better. That's that's my that's my hope for Microsoft, man. Book. I think I own Rally. Oops, I meant I meant to click the other one. All right, let's let's. It's been so long since we've done a fruit day with an island trip. Let's go do an island trip. Let's go destroy an ecosystem. It feels like it's been so long since I've destroyed things. <laughs> Looking on Twitter, uh, the PS5, the PS5, and someone took like a three-ring binder and just uh, put a PS2 in the middle. <laughs> Who did this? Uh, Daniel Barnes, or someone just took took two envelopes and put their wi their Wi-Fi modem between it. Yeah. But yeah, no, so I said at the beginning that one of, so people so far have been treating the PS4 like it's kind of behind the Xbox One, that the Xbox One is out there getting all this work done, showing off games, showing off the console again long, six months ago. Meanwhile, PlayStation showed off nothing, and it's, is PlayStation behind? I think PlayStation came out today and showed that no, they aren't, they've still got it. Again, price point's still going to be a big deal. But for what it matters, PlayStation came out and proved themselves that no, they've still got the game. They've got good games. The console looks fine, at least in my opinion. I know people are going to clown on it, but yeah. Did they show off Nina Struthers during the PlayStation during the PlayStation thing? God damn it! It's Bamboo Island. Yeah, because Devolver Digital doesn't have an E3 conference this year. God, that's disappointing. Devolver Digital conferences are so good. Man, they've killed it, f what, three years in a row? Oh shit, I don't have any wood to make a new axe once my axe breaks. I know I can buy a new one, but it's Bamboo Island. Do I really want to? Yeah, shit, I guess they did show Nina Struthers. I should, you know, I should chop down these coconut trees first, because that'll actually get me wood that I could use, that I could potentially use to make a new axe. <laughs> the P 
PS5 looks like the new expensive campus performing arts center that cost the college 60 millions and replaced three art ac academic arts departments. That's funny. Oh gosh, I've got a, I've got, my my class did get a new one of those. I think it's for the physics department, or my university. But and I think I actually do have a class there next semester, which assuming class is open, college is open because of the COVIDs, which is still going on. I don't know. I kind, I really hope college isn't, because I know it's gonna once colleges open up, it's just gonna spread. It's gonna be bad. God. They put uh Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh! They put his head on the top of the PS5. And it looks like his jacket and his shirt. Oh my god, that that's another great one. I really shouldn't pull up Twitter and show off some of these. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I heard there's gonna be a rumor there's gonna be a second wave. Oh, of COVIDs? Oh, there's totally gonna be a second wave. I mean, we know for and we know for a fact that some states are lying about their numbers here in the U.S. Not in other countries. Other most like like New Zealand's gonna do perfectly fine. South Korea is gonna get perfectly fine, but America is absolutely fucked in the COVID situation. They've they, there are reports that Florida has lied about their numbers. There have been whistleblowers who have come out and said so. While some states are doing better than others, it, it, America is still a united country. So one bad state spoils the broth for all the others. America's going to get hit hard by it, whether it be now or later. Because, again, while I Black Lives Matter, I support the protests, I guarantee you in like a week or two, numbers are going to start rising because of them. Which fucking sucks. Take all the health precautions you can. But yeah, no, and then once the once the summer's over, numbers are gonna start rising again. It's gonna happen. Of course, whether America's going to shut down its economy again, or they're just gonna freaking implode themselves is anybody's guess. Oh yeah, we got a trailer for Resident Evil 8. Eh. Not my style of game. I can never I just cannot get into horror games. I can't. Is that Resident Evil 8 coming to PS5, X Xbox Series X, and Steam, and they're going to have been more information in August. Okay. I was like, an August release date? That's crazy. But no, it's just more information. Oh god, um, what was another game? There was that one game where it was... Uh, what was it? Um, something Volcano High. Which kind of reminds me of, like, a dating sim. But also... It, it reminds me of, like, a dating sim, like, Monster Prom. But also mixed with, like, a Life is Strange. And it's, it's weird, but I'm also kind of totally down for whatever at this point. What was it called? It was it was called Outlasting Volcano High, and they there was like dinosaur people, and they gave the dinos they gave the dinosaurs feathers, which yes, because still to this day, dinosaur most dinosaurs still have scales. Even even it I, I and I mean I'm willing to cut Jurassic Park some slack because of um, kind of, because they have an in-universe explanation. But most others don't, especially Super Science Friends. For as much as I love Super Science Friends, I don't know why they didn't give their T-Rex feathers. Have you been seeing, there's, a, there's been a thing going around where it's like an animal skull, how aliens would create it, and what's the animal looked like. And the two I've seen are the pug and the hippopotamus, which is right, how the skull would look to like an alien and like, 
how it's like this fierce predator, and then the hippo is just this fat animal that is also a very fierce predator. And then the pug, which is a monster. No, seriously, pugs are monsters, and humans have done irreparable damage to them. They should not be alive. Support, support, uh, mutts. Because those are real dogs. Kind of. I have very strong opinions on pugs. <laughs> so I completely destroyed this bamboo island. And, eh. I just don't like bamboo islands. Yeah, that, that freaking volcano game, man. I'm totally... I'm... It's, it's weird, and... I kind of hope it does... There's, like, a meteor in the logo. So I kind of hope it ends with, like, an extinction-level meteor thing, and it gets fucking dark. That'd be fascinating. It also does kind of feel like furry shit, which... Eh. Bamboo the one good thing about Bamboo Islands are scorpions. But, eh. Now, I could theoretically harvest all these uh, weeds for to sell the leaf. But that's just so much fucking work that I'm do I don't want to do. I'm surprised I didn't find a, fo a fossil here. Usually I find at least one fossil. And this bamboo island, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna keep any of the bamboo, I'm just gonna sell it. Not like I use bamboo for anything. I maybe crafted stuff with bamboo, like, once. Oh, so that's how... So, I look at an image of the PS5 on its side, and it's got, like, a... a like the, You know how, like, the Wii is, like, the white brick, but then it's got the silver base that came with it? So, if you want to put it, like, straight up. It's kind of like... It's not, like, a silver base, but it's got, like, a circular base that you put underneath it, and that'll, like, hold it up. Okay. It, it's weird, but I, to I see it. Okay. So you can still totally put the thing on its side. It's not like the Xbox where you could theoretically like stack shit on it if you wanted to. I don't know anybody who did stack shit on an Xbox or whatever. Like I, I never really. I think the only time I ever stacked consoles was I put the Wii on top of the Wii U at some point. Yeah, let's just sell all this shit. It's not much, but I'll take it. <laughs> uh, this is Jason Schreier. NBA 2K21 with an accurate depiction of quarantine basketball. The trailer for MBK, MB, N, N, NBA 2K21 was just a single guy in like a school gymnasium playing basketball. That was it. Okay, it was probably like an actual like stadium or whatever, but it looked like a school gymnasium. That was it. There was no more complexity than that to the trailer. Let's assess a fossil. Okay. So yeah, today, today was just a very standard Animal Crossing day. So... Okay, I was like, that that's something we've already given him, right? So yeah, it's nothing really special. I mean, I talked about the PS4 for like 50 minutes. But eh. I'm going to make one... Before we end off, I'm going to do one more thing. 
just because it's going to drive me crazy if I don't do it. I mean, we'll work on fixing up the house another day and, like, making a front yard. We might even do that tomorrow. But I'm going to get rid of this path because it's going to drive me up the wall if I don't. Oops, uh, nope. God, I know I screwed up with the house. I should have moved. I made the mistake. I should have moved it one to the one to the right. God damn it. I'm sure I can still make it look good. I'm sure somehow I can make it look good. Uh, at least that's what I'm going to tell myself to sleep at night. Yeah, I, I can still salvage this. <laughs> God, it's going to be weird to have our house in a new place. I can also tear down, like, all those trees right there. Uh, I don't know. See, like, like, from right here, it looks fine. But when I take these other houses into view... It's a little off center. And now I know if I moved it over to a little to the left, it'd be off center in the other direction, so I'd never win. I guess I'm just gonna have to take what the game gives me. I'm sure I'm sure I can find figure out a way to make like a cool front yard. I'm sure Oh my god, someone took <laughs> uh, this is Daniel Ahmad. It's um the PS5, but it's the uh, the guy with the, the arms crossed. The uh, I had to do it to him, guy. Oh fuck, that's good. <laughs> I can look at these all day. Um, and see, I also got to figure out if I'm gonna put a fence around it. Like, if I'm going to do a fence, like, right there and bring it down here. I could totally see... I could totally see it either way. Especially because I'm giving myself more room than all of these suckers. Hey, uh, let's say good... Let's end off by saying goodbye to our best boy. He'll be back. Say, I know it's kind of sudden, but I'm actually moving out of here tomorrow. I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier, and now I'm all busy what with packing up and stuff. So, I guess this is kind of goodbye. It's been real, kiddo. If I could leave you with one piece of advice, it's this. Stay hydrated and keep your chin up. Don't worry, Octavian. You may be gone today, but we'll meet again. Oh, trust me. We'll meet again. <laughs> I don't have, like, a maniacal laughter emote, sadly. <laughs> I don't think I do anyways. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Worry, dozing, apathy, shock. That's that's not bad. Yeah, uh, with that we're gonna end off tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll do more. Actually, let's. Gosh dang it! There's always something I can notice. Let's get, let's get some luck miles. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Only Nintendo's that dumb. Buy a next gen console, regardless of the price yesterday. It's really cool. A fanboy said they were going to buy a next-gen console on day one, regardless of the price yesterday, and someone called them a simp. Okay, that's kind of funny. Alright, let's finish off this lemonade. I 
I drank an entire jug of lemonade in like an hour and a half. Okay, two and a, two hours. Two hours in like 20 minutes. God, that's a lot of lemonade. Yeah. Yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. Until next time, peace.